parent power and democracy are as closely related as, as Mike Gatting and the Queen Mother. And unless someone's been keeping a very juicy scandal from me, that is not very closely at all. Parent power is not a sign of democracy, it is a sign of barbarism. We are to regard education as a service industry, like a laundry. Parents are the customers, teachers the washers, children the dirty linen. The customer is always right. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And what in the name of boiling hell do parents know about education? How many educated people are there in the world? I could name 17 or 18, perhaps. Because, of course, education is not the issue. Heaven preserve us from educated people, is the cry. Ask Norman Tippett, for whom a leering naked teenager in a newspaper is no different from a Titian nude. Ask him what education means. Ask the illiterate ghouls of Fleet Street or Wapping Street or whatever unfortunate thoroughfare they now infest what education is. A poem with swear words has to be banned from television or, or they will squeal for weeks. They've dealt with the socialists in the town halls and now they want to turn on those clever people who mock them in their plays and books. This new England we have invented for ourselves is not interested at all in education. It's only interested in training, both material and spiritual. Education means freedom, it means ideas, it means truth. Training is what you do to a pear tree when you pleach it and prune it to grow against a wall. Training is what you give an airline pilot or a computer operator or a barrister or a radio producer. Education is what you give children to enable them to be free. Free from the prejudices and moral bankruptcies of their elders. And freedom is no part of the program of today's legislators. Freedom to buy shares, medical treatment or council houses, certainly. Freedom to buy anything you please. But freedom to think, to challenge, to change, oh heavens no. The day a child of mine comes home from school and reveals that he or she has been taught something I agree with is the day I take that child away from school. Teach Victorian values, teach the values of decency and patriotism and religion is the cry. Those are the very values that led to this foul century of war, oppression, cruelty, tyranny, slaughter and hypocrisy. It was the permissive society it is so now horribly fashionable to denounce that forced America to back out of the Vietnam War. It is this new, hideously impermissive society that is threatening to engulf us in another. I choose the word engulf with great care. Look at those Islamic cultures in the Gulf for moral certainty, for laws against sexual openness, for capital punishment and flogging, for a firm belief in God, for patriotism and a strong faith in the family. What a model for us all. Oh, heaven help us, when will we realize that we know nothing, nothing? We are ignorant, savagely, hopelessly ignorant. What we think we know is palpable nonsense. How can we dare to presume to teach our children the very same half-baked, bigoted trash that litters our own imperfect minds? At least give them a chance, a faint, feeble, glimmering chance of being better than us. Is that so very much to ask? Well, apparently it is. Well... I'm old and smelly and peculiar, and I've no doubt everything I've said is nonsense. Let's burn all those novels with naughty ideas and naughty words in them. Let's teach children that, that Churchill won the Second World War, that the Empire was a good thing, that simple words for simple physical acts are wicked, and that teenage girls pointing their breasts at you out of newspapers are harmless fun. Let's run down the arts departments of universities. Let's string criminals up. Let's do it all now, for the sooner we go up in a ball of flame, the better, surely. Oh, dear. Listening back, I think some of you may have got the impression that... Well, it's only because I care. I do care so very, very much. And when I'm away from home and see how poor and ignorant of people we are, well, it, well, it upsets me. I think I should take one of my slow-release capsules now and perhaps snuggle up with an Elmore Leonard and a warming posset. If you have been, I wonder why. Stephen Fry as Dr Donald Trefusis on Loose Ends.